Well, hey, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Rise Together. Today is a special day because we're doing this again. So this is Anna. Anna is an associate in Georgia, and we actually filmed the Rise Together episode many moons ago, and we just couldn't get it to work. There were some issues technical. And so we're so excited, Anna, to have you officially on the show to introduce you to the world. Hey, everybody. <laughs> And so uh, I think my favorite thing about this conversation will be the Southern draw. So just tell us a little bit about yourself and who you are, where you are, and what you do. Yeah, so my name is Anna, and I am an, an assistant manager at Walmart Store 727 in Cedartown, Georgia. I have been with the company for a total of seven years. Started two weeks after I graduated high school. And I've been here ever since. Um, I was originally just with Walmart as a job to get me through college because I was going to school for nursing. And then um, I got sent to shareholders uh, when I was a department manager. And I came back and I changed my major. Um, going to shareholders completely changed my entire career path, my entire life for the most part. And, you know, after then, there's been opportunities after two, opportunities after opportunities. And, you know, I'm forever grateful to be where I'm at right now. That's awesome. I mean, I, I want to unpack even just that piece. Shareholders, what is it? I mean, I think we see the videos, we see the different things about what shareholders is, but for the associate watching at home who hasn't got the chance to go, tell us a little bit about shareholders and what that meant to you. Um, so I got on a plane in Atlanta and, um, it was, I think it was like the third time I'd ever got on a plane and it was a plane full of Walmart associates and <laughs> Samsung associates. And it's like an hour and a half flight for me. And the entire ride was the Walmart cheer and the Sam's cheer. Like I still know mm. the Sam's cheer cause it was the entire ride. So like we get off the plane and we're at the airport in uh, Fayetteville and like there's tons of associates that are already very happy and it was just one thing after another. Like the energy at the home office is amazing. I've been to home office three times and each time is just more amazing than the last. I got to meet associates from like Japan and Canada and I still talk to these people. And like they're most of them are still at Walmart and they're loving it. They're there's so much going on in the company, and it makes me so happy to just be able to be a part of that. And like I got to meet Judith. I met Doug at one point. Um, it was very quick, but like the way they talk and the way they're just so like intrigued with the associates and our customers, it just made me want to stay. And I was like, okay, well, this is what I want to do. So I came home and changed my major to business and graduated and became an assistant. That's awesome. So I'm going to be one of those CEOs one day. <laughs> so good to hear you talk about those things. It's so cool to hear that you get, did get to meet Judith or, or Doug. And for those of you watching, our CEO of Walmart Inc. and CEO of Walmart International. So what was the major and what did you change it to? So I was going to school for nursing. When I went to shareholders, they showed like all these cool things about like associates doing things in your community and like helping kids and helping associates and customers. And I was just like, I can do that without the blood. So I changed my major to business and I decided, you know, I want to be an assistant. I want to, you know, make change in the world and I want to be in a position where I can do that. So I decided, you know, I want to become an assistant and I want to move my way up in, you know, whatever way that is. Um, I get my career path takes me because I can do anything and still, you know, change the lives of other associates and customers. And, and you've done that. You, you've now embraced Walmart. You've moved up. You're an assistant manager right now, working the third shift. So from us day walkers to you overnight folks, thanks for uh, doing the interview during the day. Oh, so you're welcome. I'm off. So I've had sleep. <laughs> but there's more other things that are happening in your world. You are now a part of this brand new Walmart Ambassadors. Tell us a little bit about that. What is that and how did that start for you? So it started for me. I actually connected with um, Zach Lonis, who is the director of in-store experience for our company. I connected with him last summer through a video. I was actually um, working at an academy. Um, helping with some content because I helped develop the assistant manager training content when I went to home office at one point in time. Um, I helped develop that content and put some of that content in there. 
And so I went to an academy and um, Zach had posted something on his Instagram when we did like a small video that went live. And um, a couple months later, he started ambassadors and was like, hey, you want to join? I was like, oh, absolutely. Like, I'm posting all the time. Let's, let's do this. So um, what the ambassadors is, is a group of associates who are influencing the change in the company. You know, um, we're trying to get more associates involved in, you know, the community and the stores and trying to, you know, really boost the good that Walmart does for its customers and associates. That was a great way to put that. So many people right now, I think, think they assume that they are home office associates. And the reality is, no, the, the ambassador program is 30, 40 individuals who are in the stores, just like you watching this, this episode who are already doing our day jobs. And these are things that we do on top of that for fun on our breaks, on lunch, after work, and put together those videos. I know for me, still looking for ambassadors all over the country. Our goal, in, and I think I can say this with confidence out loud, we're looking for an associate in each state, all 50 states. If you're an associate out there and you're passionate about change and the, what the company can do for good in this world, and you like being on social media, you should reach out to uh, Zach Lonis on through social. So you can also reach out to animated. The, that's right. <laughs> Show us that again, animated with two D's. Yeah. We'll put it on the screen below. And of course you can reach out to me as well, the Sergeberg on all social media platforms. So pretty exciting. What other social platforms should we find you on? On Facebook under Anna Williams, um, you'll see kind of like my personal life on there, but um, there's a lot of Walmart on there too, like a lot. And then LinkedIn is what I use um, under Anna Williams. Um, I post a lot of like features that we built in our store, a lot of uh, associates, a lot of ideas, and a lot of like influence as you know what it takes to be a leader in the company. That's awesome. Any cool leadership lesson or story that you've learned along the way? Um, my main thing is to be enthusiastic. Like anybody who ever asked me like what it takes to be a leader, I'm like, you need to be positive and enthusiastic. It doesn't matter the situation. It's like third shift, like you walk in and it's blown up and you know, it's just going to be a bad night. If you're positive and you're enthusiastic, like you just took a bad night with the morale of your associates into, okay, we're going to do this and we're going to be positive about it. And we're going to eat some donuts. So, like, eat donuts. <laughs> <laughs> going to be like enthusiastic and excited about, you know, let's do this. Let's make a change. You know, let's be the shift that turns this entire store and gets it ready mm. for in the morning. A lot of changes happen in the whole world from associates to management to even staying on third shift when she, it would be great to come off third shift. But yet your positivity, your encouragement I've seen. And I think uh, you just deserve some kudos to that. So I'm just saying great job. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely appreciated because it's not like I love being on third shift, but I feel like I can do like more change in my building if I am on days because I get to see my customers because we close at midnight. But being on third shift, like the morale of the associates on that team have I'm talking about like skyrocketed. Anna, the question we ask everyone every single time: What does the spark, the Walmart spark, what does that mean to you, or what does it say to you? Um, so the spark to me is exactly what it says, the spark. It's the spark that ignites and each and every associate and customer that sets into our stores. Um, it's the spark that, you know, makes you excited to come to work and excited to come into our stores. And it's, you know, the spark that ignites that fire that spreads everywhere. And another thing with the spark, um, you know, it brings pieces together. You know, it's hmm. six that, you know, ignites a fire. Hmm. I love that you said that the customer can get it too. That if we're excited, we're motivated, we're doing the right things, our spark not only could set that fire within our whole team, but even our customer. Think about this. We're not only changing the, your store now. You're changing your communities, your communities in your country, in your country, the world. That's what the spark's all about. That's pretty exciting. Absolutely. So if you watched this episode, you liked it, leave Anna a comment, even go and follow her account. We would love to see more of you and to hear about you and what you're interested in hearing about next. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anna. Bye, you guys.